Filmmaker Dave Riggs had been contracted to document Australia's first large-scale great white shark tagging project. The team's aim was to tag adult great white sharks so they could study their patterns of movement along Australia's coast. I remember looking at one of them, thinking, wow, she's just a magnificent looking animal. It's only three meters long. It didn't have a mark on it. When she first came in, she came in with a real swagger, like a real confident, bold move, and then just pushed up against the dinghy and gave us an opportunity to tag her. And he placed his tag perfectly. Codenamed Shark Alpha, the healthy female left the scene without any sign of distress. Four months later, Shark Alpha's tag was found by a beachcomber. The device washed ashore two and a half miles from where it was attached to the shark. Its data revealed an incredible story. When I was first told about the data that came back from the tag that was on the shark, I was absolutely blown away. At 4 a.m. on Christmas Eve, the shark suddenly plunged at high speed straight down the edge of the continental shelf. It showed this profile going down the shelf to 580 meters and then a huge temperature change. Within seconds, the shark tag recorded a dramatic temperature shift from 46 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature that could only be achieved inside the belly of another living animal. The question that not only came to my mind, but everyone's mind who was involved was, what did that? It was obviously eaten. What's going to eat a shark that big? What could kill a three-meter great white? The tag recorded 78 degrees for eight days, moving between the surface and a depth of 330 feet before it was released. There was no doubt the seemingly indomitable Shark Alpha had been attacked and eaten by a super predator of the deep. <laughs> 